Is that better? It helps if I hit unmute, right? Uh, partly because I try to get it uh, all together. Everything set up where I just come in here and I hit start, but apparently I didn't unmute the mic, so. Okay, so now we're not muted. So welcome ladies. Um, Angela, welcome. Sylvia, welcome. Is that better? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hi, Sally. Um, so I'm going to try to um, put these tags. I didn't put the tags up. So if this gives me a little bit of a hiccup today, um, it might slow me down a minute, but I'm going to try to put them in order right here really quick so that I can just grab them. Shouldn't be too bad, but you just never know because I didn't put them back up there where they belonged. So I have new cookies in today, the ones that you guys are familiar with. I did get another batch of cookies in. Um, also got in some new toffee. So we have new toffee today. And also have what's called, um, they're called clouds. So what the cloud is, is the cloud is going to be a um, chocolate. It's a marshmallow with caramel coated in chocolate. They're yummy. I'm not a huge, like, eat a marshmallow kind of person. And I got into one yesterday to try it, and they are good. And I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not a big uh, just eat a marshmallow kind of person. And they're great. I think they're good. Um, so if you like marshmallows, you will love them. If you kind of are a little iffy on marshmallows, I still think that you will like them. And if you don't like marshmallows, well then, please don't get them because then you really won't like them, right? All right, so here's the numbers. I at least have them out to where I can see names and numbers. So welcome, welcome, everybody that's here. Hi, Desiree. Stephanie, welcome. Nancy, welcome. I haven't showed nothing yet, Nancy. Nothing yet. And I didn't pull up the uh, giveaway tool yet. I might do that during the live. In fact, I probably can. Let me get a um, another tab here and get it pulled up. That way, when it's time, I'm ready to go. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit off today. I had to run to the post office, go grab a package, all that junk. Okay, so let me find here. I bookmark this and I have it yet. Um, usually I have it all pulled up right away. Okay, now I got it. And... And I'm going to do something really quick because I want to make sure that I can um, go over here and go to private chat brand. I can find out where it's at again. Banners, comments, settings. Mm. Nope, that's not it. This is what happens when you don't um, fully set it up during the daytime or earlier. Here it is, uh, share. So let me see if, and there we go, okay. window I want to share a window share there we go I got it ready so when it's time I will have you put in hashtag booted you can put that anytime right now but as soon as I put up that giveaway tool that's when we actually want that hashtag in there okay so for now I'm just gonna be just me on there and I think we're good I do have Dolores, you're in the YouTube one as well, so welcome. And then, uh, let's see, everybody else is pretty much here on Facebook, right? Drea, you're tagging folks, yes, 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 thank you, thank you. Angela, thank you. Yvette, welcome, thank you. 
Okay, so as soon as it's time, I'll let you guys know when to make sure that you have your booted in there. So uh, it'll be towards the end of the live. So um, we tried to do it uh, last time throughout the live and it doesn't work that way. It has to be when the tool is up and pulled up and ready to go. Okay, so that's, that's when that will occur. So let me put on here this one. Get it ready. That way it's ready to go. Okay. So let me get started. Uh, just so everybody knows, in case you're new, please be sure to fill out the uh, postable that's scrolling across the bottom of the page right there. Please make sure I have that information that it asks for. It asks for your name, your address, your email. That's all it asks for. Um, I use that for invoicing. So if this is your first time here, welcome. If this is not your first time here, welcome back. Hi, Deborah. I see you. Welcome. Um, so if you are um, have never claimed anything from me before, that's what I call it. If you've never claimed anything from me before, I do need you to fill out that postable link. Okay, because without that postable link, you cannot claim. Um, if you need to know your bin number, if you forgot your bin number, all you have to do is ask me. I can let you know what your bin number is. I do ask that you put that bin number into the comment along with the word that is used to claim each item. There's a different word for each item. So it's just your bin number and the, the word, okay? Um, I invoice after the live. Um, you have until 2 o'clock tomorrow to pay your invoice. Um, if it's not paid, it does get canceled. And then um, if you pay before noon, then your package will also go out tomorrow. If you take up until 2 p.m., your package goes out the following day. I make one postal run. It's usually by noon, so I can catch the carrier so your stuff actually hits the road tomorrow. Okay, so that's how I do it. Your shipping is uh, your cost as far as it's on your invoice, and it's calculated according to the weight of your package and the distance. So if I'm in California, if you're in Texas or New York, your rates tend to be a little bit higher. You're farther away from us. So that's kind of how it works. Another heads up I want to give you is on your invoice, you will start to see the um, sales tax for your area. Okay. Um, I was trying to make sure that I got all the different states and had them all listed out before I started adding them to the invoices. So as of today, as of today, whatever state you are in, that sales tax will be added to your invoice. Um, there, I believe there's two states that do not have tax. Off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you what they are. But if you're in one of those two states, there is no income tax for you. Montana, I believe, is one, and there's another one. So just so you know, you will see that on there. If you purchase $100 or more per live, it's not accumulation, it's per live. Your $100 of merchandise, it's not $100 plus your shipping, it's $100 of merchandise then you get 10% off your entire purchase. And usually that offsets most of your shipping. So just, just so you know, uh, $100 or more, you get 10% off your entire purchase. And usually that will help offset your shipping, okay? But shipping still is included or additional. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. Um, I'm going to start first with the cookies because they're over here and they have my attention and it's partly because I want to eat them myself, but I'm not, I'm not going to eat them myself, even though I want to really, really bad, but I haven't had food yet, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so these are by, um, oh, I just lost the brain, the brain, cookies con, um, con amor, okay, I don't speak Spanish, so I'll jack it all up. But these ones right here are the gluten-free. These are gluten-free. These are $8 all across the board. It doesn't matter what flavor you get. They're all $8, okay? So this one right here is the gluten-free. I believe you get two, four, six, eight of the jelly-filled cookies. They are like a double thickness, so they're not a thin cookie. They are a little bit thicker. Um, these ones are gluten-free, and these ones have the raspberry filling. They're all raspberry, okay? all raspberry so if you like these they are gluten free just claim with the word raspberry with the word raspberry okay and those are the gluten free jelly ones and those are the raspberry okay and i'm just going to write down names on here so i'm not running back and forth to the bin just yet and that way 
If anything else goes into the bin, I don't have to worry about the cookies falling out. So we'll see. I think that's how I want to do it. Okay, so Nancy gluten-free jelly filled. Nancy times two. Times two. Okay. Sorry, I think you email. I was wondering if you received it. I hope you send it to the right email. Um, is it about your invoice? Um, if it's about your invoice, yes, it was because I know that it got opened, so it did get seen. Um, I can send you a message afterward, Dolores. I know, girl. You were the one that wanted these, even at Christmas time when I was out. You and Sally. I think Sally was the one that wanted more cookies. Okay, so that is the gluten-free. Again, these ones are gluten-free. Okay, you'll notice the gluten-free has the green label, so just keep that in mind. Okay, the next gluten-free I have is the assorted batch. This is the assorted batch, and this comes with four different cookies. So you're going to get two that have the apricot. I'm sorry, two that have the apricot, two that have the raspberry. These ones are kind of like a cinnamon pinwheel type cookie. There's some almond cookies here, and then there is the wedding cookies here. These are like the best ever. These are like the best cookie ever. So you actually get uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, five different cookies. Assorted gluten-free. So just put assorted if you want this one. Remember, I bought, I know you did. You bought all the last ones that I had of these. Um, well, the nursing staff at my daughter's didn't get fed for Christmas so I sent all of them cookies along with their leftovers. Oh, that's so nice of you. That's sad that that happened. Christmas Eve, the cookies were a hit. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so uh, assorted if you want the gluten-free assorted. Okay, so if you're looking for sugar-free, so this is the sugar-free option. These ones, um, make sure... These ones are not gluten-free. They are only sugar-free. They are only sugar-free. If you want this set, you just comment sugar-free because there's only one choice. This is it. Okay. And you're going to get um, the thumbprints that have chocolate in them. Um, this one looks like a pretzel, kind of like, um, like, like the way those Danish cookies look. It's a pretzel shape. There is a biscotti, and then there's a biscuit. I don't know what kind of biscuit that is. Um, it doesn't give me, it doesn't give me, um, what you call it, of them, description on the box. I know it's like a biscuit though. It's some kind of like shortbread biscuit. So this one, sugar-free, if you want them, you can just claim with the word sugar-free. Okay. Um, let me see. Nancy, you want to assort it? Nancy. Times two. Um, Nancy, a sugar free. Nancy. And Desiree, a sugar free. I got you, Desiree. Okay. And I think I got them right. That's it on those. Okay. You guys let me know if I miss anything because I'm trying to bounce on two screens here. Okay. This one is going to be jelly. We're going to claim the regular ones. These are regular, so these have gluten in them. We're going to claim the regular ones with the word um, jelly. Just type jelly for this one. Just type jelly for this one. And this one has the raspberry and the apricot. So you get two flavors in the regular. And in the regular, there is a dozen. Okay, there is a dozen in the regular. So this one, you can just claim with the word jelly. The word jelly. Okay. And they're $8 a box. All of them are $8 a box. So here's your regular assorted. Your regular assorted. And just claim this one with the word regular. The word regular. So the jelly one over there, that is regular. Claim with the word jelly. This one claim with the word assorted. Assorted. Okay, and all of them are $8 a box. So this one, you're getting a, a thumbprint with fruit, a linser with fruit, the wedding cake cookies, and then the biscuit. 
It's kind of like a, a shortbread biscuit. Okay, so regular assorted regular jelly. Okay. And these, if you've not had these cookies, they are fantastic. They are fantastic. Okay, so that's new on the cookies. Um, the next one is going to be the clouds. So I will show you the cloud that I have started to eat. Okay, I opened this yesterday and started to eat it. So they are thick. I don't know if you can see how thick that is. They are thick. Okay. Uh, as far as ounces, it's a three ounce marshmallow. Okay. So it comes in two options, either milk or dark. You're going to claim it with milk or dark. So you can see, I know it's funkily bit, but uh, you can see the marshmallow. You have the caramel layer and then the chocolate. Uh, just so you know, this one that I picked was smaller than the rest of them. And I did it on purpose because I didn't know if I would like it. But all of these are thicker. So like you can see that that one is thicker than that one. They're all thick like that. So if you like this, uh, just claim with the word milk for the milk chocolate or dark for the dark chocolate. Okay. And again, it is a thick marshmallow. I can measure it if you want me to measure it. <clears throat> these are thick marshmallows. So they're over an inch and a half, about an inch and a half tall. And they are uh, uh, two inches across. So this is a good hunk. And these are $4. These are $4. So if you want it, just claim with the word milk or claim with the word dark. There's milk chocolate or there is dark chocolate. Okay, dark chocolate or milk chocolate. And those are called clouds. Um, Deborah, you want a sugar-free cookie? Alrighty, let me get that back out real quick. And this is Deborah. Deborah for sugar-free. Deborah, you got it. And then Nancy, you want two of the milk? Nancy for two milk. <coughs> Number six. Okay, and then um, Yvette, you want three milk? Oops, where am I going? I'm just going to get the numbers, what I was going to do. Yvette, you want three milk? And you got it. <clears throat> Have you guys had these kind of things before? Angela, you want a milk. 63. You want here. Got it. Okay. My internet is acting up. Uh, it does it everywhere. It actually does it everywhere. Uh, Deborah Reyes, you want a milk. Milk. And you are. I don't have it over there. 142. 142. You got it, Deborah. <clears throat> and the sugar free. So I got you for both of those. Oh, but I love anything that's chocolate and marshmallows. That's why you like the s'mores toffee, huh? Okay, so I do have um, four more of the milk chocolate, and I still have 12 of the dark. So, and that's it on those. That was a trial run. I wanted to see if there are something that you guys like. You guys can give me feedback, continue to get them or just a one-time treat, okay? So I do have four more of the milk and then that would be it. And then I would have to reorder that batch, okay? So trying smaller batches on some stuff just so that we can get a feel for what's a good item, what tastes good, what doesn't. And I do know that more people like milk chocolate than dark, but we had to have them both. All right, this is the toffee. This is the new toffee. Um. We'll see how this brand goes, um, only because I have to work out the shipping issue with them. But anyhow, um, this one comes in one, two, three, four, five different flavors. So you have five options with this toffee. Um, this one right here is $7, and it is four ounces of toffee. This is your dark chocolate. 
dark chocolate. So all you're going to claim with this is, um, let's do, let's comment this one, the word brown. The word brown. We're going to go with the strip on here. So the word brown, $7 for the dark chocolate. All of the bags are $7, but this one right here, brown, if you want dark chocolate coffee. I have three of each flavor. This one is the peanut butter crunch. <clears throat> Just comment the word peanut. Just comment the word peanut. And then um, there's three of these. This one is dark chocolate cherry. So just comment the word cherry. The word cherry. Again, $7. Uh, almond sugar, butter, cream. Uh, palm kernel oil, palm oil. Cocoa powder, soy lectin, whole milk solids, dried cherries. There is some cane sugar and sunflower oil. That's what's in here, just in case you need to know. So cherry, if you like the dark cherry. Yvette, do you want a peanut butter? You got it. <clears throat> and then the next one is going to be coffee toffee. This one is coffee, and you'll claim it with the word coffee. And it has, uh, it says coffee beans in the ingredients. So I don't know if it's bits of coffee ground up or if it's just coffee flavor. Uh, Nancy, you want a cherry? You got it. <clears throat> and then the last one is your milk chocolate. Just claim with the word milk. This one's milk chocolate. Okay. Um, and I have three of each of these flavors. So that's what I got to try those ones. And then again, I'll either switch back to my original toffee, which you guys got before with the um, hazelnuts. Um, I'm just waiting for their new batch to come available. So we'll see. If this is a hit, then I'll try to stick with it. If not, we'll end up going back to the one from Oregon. We'll go back to the one from Oregon. How many carbs per serving? Girl, you're gonna ask about carbs on toffee. There's a lot of carbs. There's a lot of sugar. Actually, it's not so bad. Um, it says 13 total carbs, one fiber, uh, 12 from sugar. 12 carbs are from sugar. I thought it would have been more. Uh, the cherry has 14 grams, 12 from sugar, because cherries are sweet. The coffee has 13 grams, 11 from sugar. And the milk chocolate has um, 13 grams, 12 from sugar. So cherry is the highest, and that's because it has that fruit in it. It bumps it up a little bit more. I didn't realize that it wasn't that bad, actually. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's kind of shocking, actually. Okay. Um, those were the new items, the cookies, the clouds, and the um, toffee. Before I forget, these are the um, purchases from Monday. So into the owl you go. Into the owl you go. Uh, I have Nancy. I have Clarissa. Sarita. Thank you guys. Madi. Dolores. Actually. Sorry, Dolores. That one doesn't go in. Stephanie. Rose. Yvette. Christy. Linda. Sarah. Rachel. That was just from Monday. Those were the invoices from Monday. Okay, so you guys are in there. Those will be shaken up. And that is going in for the end of the month customer appreciation prize. So every time you make a purchase, you go into the owl. Okay, um, I know that you guys were waiting for some of the pops. At least I know some of you were waiting for the pops. They're still in transit. They're still in transit. So I'm still waiting on those. Um, what would you guys like to see today? What would you guys like to see today? Because I thought the cookies were going to take me a lot longer, and it didn't take me very long at all. Um, make sure I don't have comments on either side. Yeah, I wish my screen was up here. But then when I sit down, it would be, I would be down there. So, yes. Yeah, so, what would you guys like to see? Do you guys need anything that I've shown before, and you would like to see it? 
I don't think there's anything new down here. Oh, I will tell you this. This was cool. You remember the Monopoly chest? The Monopoly chest down here? The, the little chest like this? The little chest that you collect the little, um, what do you call them again? The little pieces that you move on the board. What are they called? Uh, tokens. They're like tokens. Okay, so these are $8 if you're interested in them. There's a total of 25 that you can collect. So I want to show you because I opened one. One cheddar, one jalapeno, one white cheddar. Oh, you want popcorn. One cheddar, one jalapeno. And what was the other one? Cheddar, jalapeno, and white cheddar. White cheddar. You got it, Eva. Okay, those are in there, girl. Um, is there anybody else that needs the, the cheese corn? The cheese corn? Uh, I do have two Mexican street corns, and that's it on the Mexican street corn. The rest of them, I pretty much have a little bit of everything. Can you wait until I'm not broke? <laughs> okay, so on the pops, I am still waiting on those. Only one came in, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing just to show one. So, yes, I will wait. I will wait. It probably won't be until Monday that I show them. They should be here by then. At least one batch should be here. Okay. So when you open up this um, this chest, when you open up this chest, there is, I believe, 10 pieces inside. And so this is the, um, the little sheet that comes inside that shows you you can mark these off as you collect them. They're really cool pieces. And on this side. So these are all of them, and it even labels them according to uh, common, rare, or ultra rare, okay? So all of the pieces, I already marked all my pieces. Um, so it's funny because I opened up one box because I wanted I wanted these, right? And so I opened up one box, and I started um, marking them off, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I want another box. So I ended up with two boxes, okay? I ended up with two boxes. So this is what I got in my two boxes, which I'm super stoked because the first box, I only got um, one that was like, I think, rare. And then when I opened up my second box, I got like eight that were rare, very rare on there, on the list, ultra rare, ultra rare, right? So anyhow, so on here, I ended up getting a $50,000 coin, a hundred that, oh, sorry, $10,000 coin. I got two coins. So I ended up with the ultra rare on the 50,000. Um, this one right here is the um, Monopoly man. He, he is a ultra rare. Okay. I ended up getting the light bulb. Super cool. I ended up getting the hotel, the tower. I ended up getting the baby buggy, the baby buggy. Um, I got the man with his hand behind his back, scratching his head. And then I got the other man with his arm straight down, scratching his head. Those are two different ones. I also got the man holding his hands in front of him. I'm probably too close, aren't I? I got the money bag, the suitcase with the money falling out of it. I got the gavel. Now, this was two packs. This was two packs, not just one. The gavel. I did get the uh, free parking sign. I got the uh, wallet with the money clip. Really cute. I got the go to jail sign. Go to jail. I got the ring. The ring. And I got a hotel. Now the hotel, I ended up with three. I did end up with three of the hotels. So I'm assuming that's probably like a really common piece. And then I got the um the cards. I'm gonna call them like a credit card. I got two of those. So in every every batch. You're going to get one of these, right? You're going to get one of these. 
okay? And then you're gonna get uh, eight random pieces, eight random pieces, and you can collect them. They are super cool. It's a fairly new thing that's out, um, but you can get all of these and try to collect all 25, I believe. There's 25 of them. The case is awesome to keep them in. You can actually keep them all in there if you're collecting. The case is large. It'll hold a lot. And there's actually a plastic um, bumper that I have in here. So there's actually more room in here than what you're seeing. So really cool. I just wanted to show you what the pieces look like in case it's something that you're interested in. Um, they are $8 if you want them. If you're like, you like to collect things, this is an awesome thing. Okay. Um, okay, so I have comments here. Deborah, I'm not ignoring you. You wanted a street corn. Street corn for 142. Sorry guys. I get to showing things and talking, and that's just how it is. Okay. Um excellent street corn for Desiree. Street corn for Desiree, and that is the last of the street corn. Oh, uh, where did it go? Right here. Desiree. And you are number. 126. And your daughter just picked up your order, girl. She just picked up your order. Okay. Um, let me make sure I don't miss anything on here. Uh, these are for my daughter in Texas, Buddha Bear and her mom. Oh, That's so cool. Buddha Bear is the one that uh, Rose made a comment about, right? I remember that in one of the lives she made that comment or it might have been a post. Uh, Nancy, you want two of the Monopoly? Woohoo! Good luck, girl. I think these are so cool. If they're for you or for the kids, I mean, I was excited. I'm like 50 years old, right? You took your nails off. Yes. Um, it's time to have another set done. Yep, I did. I know I have stumpy little rock digger fingers. They look like I dig rocks for a living. Um, Marianne says, I'm back. Okay, so I'm caught up, right? That was the last claim on there. I love Monopoly. I know that was why I liked it. Because I always like the pieces, but like we have a um we have a Harley Monopoly that was given to us as a gift. And the pieces in there are really cool. Really cool. There's a boot, there's a motorcycle. What else was in there? There was a boot, a motorcycle, twin engine. I believe there's a helmet in there. And I thought the pieces were really cool for that. And then when I saw this, I was like, okay, I need to open at least one. And I was going to do a video, right? I was like, oh, I'll video it. I'm going to open it. No, I got so excited. I ripped into it, started opening it. And then I grabbed another box and started opening it because I was like, oh, I need all of these. I need them all. Granddaughter. That's always on my Facebook post if you ever seen any of my posts. I have, but you know what? I was telling somebody else about this. I don't I don't know if it's I'm not on there enough on Facebook or if I don't um, have a setting set right, but I don't get a lot of people's stuff. I only get like, I would say four people, their stuff pops up on my thing. And then ads, and then like if I post anything, and or my kids i'll get my kids and stuff so i don't know and i've never made a special setting on there but i don't i don't get it Poodle bear is your twin oh your little mini me i love a mini me my nana cup i love my nana cup she's the world too oh that's awesome okay so anything that anybody wants, um, I have the pop, what do you call it, the pop toys, the bubble pops. Um, I can do the bubble pops if you guys are interested in these. I can do these for $2 today if you want them. I can do it for $2. Actually, I'll put, probably put them for $2 until they're gone. So, And there's lots of these. If you guys are interested in these, I'll do them for two dollars. And the keychains, I can do for a dollar. <coughs> I can do the keychains for a dollar, and I have multiple shapes. So this is that Among Us, the Among Us a robot. I do have several different styles. 
The keychains would be a dollar and the big pops would be two dollars. So I'll show these then. Let me show these then. Because these ones I marked down, just so you guys know the other ones, I can't mark the other sensory toys down, but these ones I can. These ones I can. So, and these ones I would like to so that I can clear my rack because that's where the jewelry is supposed to be at. And I can't put jewelry there until these are gone. So that's my goal. That is my goal. And I'm going to keep me a bucket here because I'm going to get going and I'm going to make a mess. <clears throat> okay, so the first one I have is the foot. I do have three of the foot. Just comment foot. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, that's not right. Yeah, that's right. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 7, 8, 8, 8. So this one has 30 pops. 30 pops. So there's 30 pops on this. Okay. So foot if you want the foot. Nancy, you want a foot? You got it, Nancy. Desiree, you want a foot? You got a foot, Desiree. There's one foot left. Okay, one foot left. All right, the next one I have is a flower. It is a flower. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This one has 15 pops. This one has 15. Um, the reason I'm telling you that is because these can be used to help the kids count. Um, and so sometimes you wanna know how many is on it. There's also games that the kids play on these. Don't ask me how or what they are, but there's games where they take turns popping or something. So uh, sometimes you need to know the number of pops. So the flower is 15. So anybody for the flower, just comment the word flower. Um, if you want size and you want me to measure them, let me know. But this is about the size bigger than my hand. It is a little bit bigger than my hand. This one is a flower, yes. Yes, it is a flower. Nancy, you want a flower? Yes, that is a flower. Okay, the next one I have is the unicorn. Now, the unicorn, I have it in three options. They're all the same size, <clears throat> but different in color. And I want to say I'm not positive, but I would like to think that this one does glow in the dark, but I don't know. I know that it's got a translucentness to it. Okay, so we're going to call this one clear. It is not clear. It is color, but it's not a solid color like the other ones are. Good idea on the stress balls. It helps a lot. Yay, I'm glad, girl. I was hoping. You want to hear something funny? This is the silliest fidget spinner I have seen. I don't know if any of you got this one with the little marble inside. And I'm not a fidgeter. But you know what? I put this by my desk, and I, when I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, I do grab it and start playing with it. Weird, right? But, um, and, but only this one, not none of the other ones, just this one. I don't know if it's the texture that I like on my... Um, on the pads of my thumbs or what but this one with the marble I'm sold and I'm a critic when it comes to that stuff um, Nancy you want a unicorn clear okay so yes claim this one with the word clear with the word clear this one claim with the word pastel it is more solid in color. I know you can see my light shining through, but this one is more solid. Pastel, if you want this one. And then this one, just comment dark. Comment dark. You like that one? Yeah, that one might help you with your fine order skills. Like, you know, just pushing between these two fingers and build up a little bit more strength in those. Because those are your uh, fine motor skills, that one, I think. Uh, you want unicorn clear for Desiree? You got it. The dark one. 
for Nancy. You got it. <laughs> and I am trying to get the line on the um I am trying to get a line on the um the what do you call it? Novelty pins. The novelty pins. I am trying to find a uh, supplier for those things. Okay, so no more on the unicorns, correct? No more claims on the unicorns? Okay. Next one is going to be um, you have the same color options on the butterfly. Okay, same color options on the butterfly. So just claim this one. Uh, let's call this one it sucks because they're all the same color. Uh, call this one, um, see, I don't want to give you numbers because we're claiming with the bin numbers. Let's just go dark. We're into the, we're going to do this one dark. Bin six butterfly, one of each. You want one of each. I have a dark one, a pastel, and a clear. This is a pastel colored one. And then this is the clear one. One of each butterfly for Nancy. You got it, Nancy. Okay, so butterflies, light, clear, clear butterfly, pastel butterfly, or dark butterfly. I don't mean to make you guys type a bunch, but we're going to have to do the actual name of it because they all come in separate similar shades. Anything else? Okay. Um, this one right here, I have only in the dark, so you're just going to claim with the word apple. There's only one choice for the apple. It is dark. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, five, four. So 18, 19, 20, 20, 20 2, 3, 4, I believe there's 24 pops on this one. So apple, if you want the apple. This one is the pineapple. It's kind of tie-dye color or um, mixed in its color. So pineapple, if you want the pineapple. Nancy, you want an apple. So this is the pineapple. And I know that these were good. Dolores, the clear butterfly. Okay, and the, you do want the pineapple. Pineapple for Nancy. And what do I see on this side? This side it says nothing. Okay. Next one is going to be. Um, this one is the cupcake. This one is the cupcake. So just type cupcake. There's only one color choice on the cupcake. Uh, this one is the donut. This one is the donut. Just comment donut. There's only two of the donut. I have uh, Angela, you want a pineapple? That's the last pineapple, Angela. And you are over here. No, you're not. Angela. Shoot. Off the top of my head. What is your bin number, Angela? 63. You are up here. I done bump my head. Two times. Bump my head. <clears throat> you got it, Angela. I got gotcha. you. Okay, so. Angela pineapple, Nancy for the cupcake, Nancy for a donut, Desiree for the donut. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Desiree for a cupcake, and Dolores for a cupcake, and that's it on the cupcake. Desiree and Dolores. Okay, let's get on those ones. 
right, we have two choices for the rainbow. So rainbow clear or rainbow pastel. Rainbow clear or rainbow pastel. Okay. Last week, my nephew got all the cars for a blind box. This week, my niece will get... Oh, that's... You're a great auntie. You're an awesome auntie. Okay, so... <clears throat> you want one of each round, auntie? You got it. That's awesome. So I have one pastel rainbow and two clear left of the rainbows. Okay. Sure. Okay. Next one is going to be the little bear. This one is the little bear. And you have two options on the bear. You have the pastel or the clear. The pastel or the clear on the bears. Okay, so this is the clear kind, and then this is the pastel. Next one will be Nancy, one of each bear. She's going to be super excited. Super excited. All right, I have two of the dinos. I only have two. They are both the same. They are the dark. So dino, if you want the dino. Uh, Dolores, bin 62. All bear. So you want both bears. Um, dino for Nancy. So I have one dino left. Dolores, you want a dino? You got it. Okay, next one is going to be uh, the llama. The llama, I have three of the llama. The llama, the alpaca, whatever it is, I'm calling it a llama. So llama, if you want the llama. And I do have three of the llama. Nancy, you want a llama? Mm -hmm. Darn it. Mm -hmm. Here goes my throat, and I didn't eat yet. I'll pass on the dino to next in line. To Angela? Okay, I'll put it, no, it would be Desiree. I'm sorry, it would be Desiree would get the dino next in line. Okay, so no dino. And that would go to Desiree. <clears throat> right? And then, um... Nancy for a llama, and Desiree for a llama. Yes. I'll pass on the dino next. Okay, got that done. Okay, the next one I have, I have two of the bows. So this is the bow. Um, to me, this is a little bit large. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four on the bow. There's thirty-four pops on the bow. Uh, Nancy, you want a bow? <clears throat> and then there is one bow left. Does any of the Facebook people find it hard to see with this setup, or is it just me? Okay, so are you talking about the video? So now that I'm running uh, both platforms, which I could end it, I could end the other one. Um, when I'm running both platforms, I have to use the camera that's attached to my um, tripod. And so it's not as clear as my phone. You guys are used to me streaming off my phone. So patience on that because I know that there's a way to make my phone work for me. I just don't know if I can do screen share and all that stuff when I'm running it <clears throat> because it's the actual, it's running the platform, not the computer. So like right now, the computer's running the platform with the camera. Does that make sense? 
So is that what it is, Stephanie? Is it the clarity of the camera? Because you guys are used to my phone being so clear, or is it another thing that's fuzzy? Because I am working on that. I would like my phone to be what's recording at the time, not my camera on the computer thingy. I did buy one, but apparently it's still pixely. There is one other way that I can click one setting. Yes, it seems not as clear. Yes. And that's the camera. That's the camera. And I thought about a good one, but apparently it's not good enough. Because the one on my phone is like fantastic. So let me do this. I'll do this. Okay, because there's not much people on YouTube. I believe they're already over at another auction. So let me sign off here and I'll pop back on on my phone. <clears throat> and then we can continue the live from there. Okay. Um, all I was doing was trying to get a little bit more um, video onto the YouTube platform. So what I'll do is I'll just try to keep them separate and then try to work on my camera and maybe have to even get another one. I don't know. Anyway, um, So I'm going to say bye for now. Give me about two minutes to get the live back up on the Facebook and then I will see you guys shortly.